Hey everybody, it's Raya from Chicken of the Woods and I'm so excited because it's finally fall, which means it's about time for the bluets to start appearing. Now, in my opinion, the bluet is one of the best choice edible mushrooms out there and it's also one of the most beautiful mushrooms found in the wild. The bluet's scientific name is Lapista nuda. Lapista can be easily identified as a genus by its fleshy, often stout, pinkish tan spored mushrooms that are almost always found growing on the ground. Now let's talk about identifying this mushroom out in the field. There are a few things that you want to look for so you don't mistake this as a potentially poisonous look-alike, like the Cortinaria species. Typically when you find a bluet, it's going to be very close to the ground because this mushroom only grows to be two to three inches high. The next thing you're going to notice about this mushroom, and it's very hard not to notice this, is its beautiful lavender purple color. When these mushrooms are young, they start off as a bright lavender purple color. And as they start to age, that purple starts to have a tint of brown or tan, uh, especially at the top of the cap. Underneath this beautiful lavender cap, you're going to find a set of crowded gills that are also lavender. There should be absolutely no sign of a ring or a cortina covering the young mushroom. If you do see that, you have not found the bluet, you have found a type of cortinarius species that is possibly poisonous and may be deadly. So again, when you're looking at the bluet, there will be no sign of a ring or a partial veil. Next and possibly the most important thing to know about this mushroom is its spore print. The bluet has a pinkish buff to tan color spore print. And now let us go over one more time the key identifying features of the wood bluet mushroom. First, the cap is going to be 4 to 20 centimeters wide. It's going to be convex with an enrolled margin. For those of you who don't know, the margin is this part of the cap right here. So this one is most definitely enrolled. And this is a young bluet. First, the point of attachment for the gills of the bluet mushroom is going to be slightly attached. The gills are also going to be crowded and violet. When this mushroom gets older, it's going to turn to a tan color. And now let's describe the stalk. The stalk of the bluet is going to be 3 to 10 centimeters long and 3 centimeters thick, equal or with a bulbous base. Here you can see that this mushroom does in fact have a bulbous base. Next, it's going to be dry to the touch, slightly hairy or flaky. The color of the stalk is going to be off-white to a deep lavender color, and as this mushroom ages, the stalk will actually turn to a tan. A very important identification factor of the bluet mushroom is its tan central uh, point on its cap. You can see that the outsides are a lavender purple and the inside is white. If you're having trouble identifying the bluet, make sure you take a spore print because there are actually other species that are deadly poisonous, like the Cortinaria species, that look a lot like this mushroom. So the bluet mushroom should have a pinkish to buff spore color. So remember, take a spore print if you want to 100% identify this mushroom. To take a spore print of this mushroom, I'm just going to take a little piece of paper from my journal here and I'm going to cut this cap and put it on this piece of paper. I have separated the cap from the stem and now I will flip over the cap so the gills are face down on the paper. And I'm just going to leave this right here. I'll come back and get it in a few hours. And I will show you what the... Well, everyone, this mushroom blew it and didn't produce any spores on this paper. I guess I got to it a little bit too late, but that's okay. 